Do you know that we've started this whole thing in our neighborhood because ours is the only street on the East Coast that doesn't get Arsenio Hall? And we've been... What, they're banning me by streets now? Yeah. <laughs> like, I, you know, yeah. we can't get you on Wakefield, man. Well, you know what? I, I didn't feel so bad when I thought that it was like the whole east end of Long Island. Mm -hmm. But one day I went over to a friend's house that lived two blocks away. Yeah. And there you are. And I said, what, did you tape a show or something? She said, no, what, what are you talking about? It's Arsenio. I said, did you get Arsenio? You know, I'll be on the phone with friends in the city and they'll go, did you hear what Madonna just said to him? <laughs> no, I don't get it. Okay, I get this silly comedy show. That's, you know. You know what it is? Probably because you're on the really island, it's, it's, it's put in cable in some way or something. Something, but I'm going to get to the bottom of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, tell him I said hi, because every, every place I go. I just want to clear say, it up because, you know what? He thinks that you don't really like him. Oh, it's one of them things. See? You see? And, yeah, there's probably some guy starting all this. Because every place I go, people come up to me like, it'll be like, like a drunk guy, and he'll have a bottle, and... You know, Billy hates your ass. <laughs> and, and I mean, everybody tells me, Billy Joe hates me. Let's, let's take a commercial and come back and talk about Billy and the baby. <laughs> If I move this out the way, then. Yeah, that's good for ratings. Mm -hmm. um, every time I hear that song, I think about you now. Uptown girl. And I think about you. <laughs> Forevermore, I'll think about you because your band played it so well. <laughs> Do you write or play anything? Write or play anything? Yeah, musically. Oh, I thought you meant like <laughs> books or with my daughter. Um, <laughs> I actually, I mean, that's, that's a funny question, but I actually have written a song on the piano before. Really? So you yes. play a little bit? A very little bit. <laughs> and do you sing? Mm. <laughs> I'm the kind of person that when I sing, people reach for the radio. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't you hate that when you're in a car and saying, Uptown girl, you be living, and somebody say, <laughs> Yeah, worse than that, though, is if you have the, the headsets on. And you're singing away, Loud. you know. She's been in, and somebody pushes that little button where you hear yourself. Mm -hmm, yeah. <laughs> and, and it's startling. Yes. Unless you're in the shower, then it sounds good. Yes, that's true. Acoustics in the shower are great. <laughs> um, so the wife of Billy Joel doesn't sing. That's no. amazing. Does the baby sing? Does the baby have she, a talent? Uh, well, she has got perfect pitch. She's four and a half now. She's had perfect pitch, well... Since she was born. Now, now wait, perfect pitch perfect is when you pitch. hit a note and the baby it's... identifies. What's your baby's name? So I won't say baby. Alexa. 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 Hi, Alexa. <laughs> Hi. Hi, I'm not sure which camera it is. <laughs> but um, she, well, perfect pitch means that, for example, if she's going to sing a song, she sings it on the exact note that it was sung on before and she can modulate. Mm -hmm. And, well, for example, also she's got some sort of like memory. I took her to see Les Miserables in mm -hmm. London. And it's so cute, you know, she wanted to get the tape, so I got her the tape, and she listens to it as she falls asleep. And her favorite song has become the song that the hookers sing. So oh. she goes around, she's going, maybe for a thick one or a quick one, and the oh. dog's like, oh. <laughs> ah. Oh, not a good song she to remember from that soundtrack. that song, so I'm trying to get her interested in Mary Poppins, but no, no. <laughs> <laughs> is, uh, is she like her mom in any way? Well, um... She's, I mean, you know, the way she looks, or... Yeah, well, and since she, she takes after her dad as far as her musical ability, um, is she... Well, does she's... she want to be a model? Does she... She's artistic, like me. Mm -hmm. um, she's incredible. I mean, I frame everything that she does. Yeah. And um, her looks, I mean, when she was born, everybody said she looks exactly like Billy. I mean, she was born, she had Don King's hairdo, went straight up, <laughs> it was black. And I, she was adorable, but she looked so much like Billy that once this woman, as I had just struggled through labor and had my baby in my arms, she said, well, honey, you weren't nothing but an incubator. <laughs> it's like, well, but anyway, now her hair has changed over and she's got this long blonde hair and that, you know, helps people to realize that I was a bit more than an incubator. Yeah. And, um... I mean, we're, we've got similar expressions. How about her, her persona, her characteristics? As a woman, is she anything like this woman? Well, 
Yeah, I mean, we're, we're very much alike. Um, we just, she's, she's, she's great. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you just start to blush and just, smile when you, know, you think about her. I could rave about her all night. Yeah. Does she, is she aware of who, like you just said hello to her, is she aware how famous her parents are? Does she know my dad's Billy Joe, my mother's this huge model? I don't know what she thinks. You know, it's funny because some days you think that she's just a child totally oblivious to all of that, yet she understands when you have to stop and give an autograph or whatever, and she thinks the entire world knows her. I mean, you know, because, well, basically, if she gets into an elevator, everybody in the elevator says, hi, Alexa, you know, or on an airplane, hi, Alexa, poking her in the stomach as she walks down the aisle, you know, um, and, but one day it was so cute, she... I was thinking, well, she probably doesn't know too much. And she turns me out of the blue and she goes, I love you, my cover girl mom. <laughs> really? Yeah. So she relates to the endorsement thing, the whole... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She's... Wow. And, and how about Billy? Um, like, when she hears a song on the radio, does she go crazy? Yeah, at first she couldn't understand why, you know, he was on the radio and if she couldn't see him, where is he? And then she... she understood the concept that his voice would come out of there and she's been on tour with him so she you know she goes out on the road she tries to get up on the stage and join him um but uh, she's more aware of his because he's you know he's in the middle of a tour and so she sees him in action yeah um you know with me it's different it's like you know oh yeah there she is in a magazine or whatever but she knows you're her cover girl mom yeah <laughs> will you do any more movies any more acting I don't know. You know, if they would offer me something different, something, you know, I would be willing to accept a little cameo, something funny, you know, something out of left field. But I really don't want to waste my time sitting around six weeks on a location waiting to come out there and just, you know, play the hairdo, you know, or the, just nothing. So uh, there's so many other things that interest me that, you know, I think... Uh, what does interest you for the future? What will you do? Uh, well... So I got a feeling you just want to raise your baby and be a mom. You seem like... I mean, because that's when you really light up when I talk about your baby. Well, that is my number one priority, and, and that will remain my number one priority. I mean, when I'm doing other things, I miss Alexa. But when I'm with Alexa, I don't miss anything else, you mm -hmm. know, so... Um, but there's plenty of things that I can still do and have time with her. You know, I, I have inventions. I do all kinds of um, toys or... Um, things that will make life easier for people. Um, I have a clothing line, and I have, um, you know, these dolls, and I do TV things now and then. Mm -hmm. um, I paint. I want to get back into painting. You're um, busy. You're very busy. Yeah, right now, I'm just, you know, you're the last one to have me before I go on holiday tonight. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I'm really excited. The summer off, and I'm just going to stay home and relax. Well, that's good. You deserve it. You deserve it. And I promise you, I'll go back right before we send this thing to the East Coast on the satellite. I will go back and take out the name of that supermodel of the year. And no one will still know. Good, who thanks. Okay. Yeah. Take care of yourself and come back again. Okay, thank okay. you. Christy Brinkley. We'll be right back with Stevie B.